Hello everyone, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and in this short video about Cinema 4D, we're going to learn how to put multiple textures on one object and have different polygons have different textures. So basically, I just have three materials down here. I have cyan, yellow, and purple. You can do any number of effects on here. I just set the color just for demonstrative purposes. And I have a cube here. So let's just say we wanted to change the three different sides that we see into three different colors. Well, it's actually very, very easy to, to do. There's not much explanation needed. But basically, if we just drag a material, the entire object gets that material. So you can see when we place multiple on top of each other, they're really just layering themselves on that one object. So to actually make them only apply to one polygon or one side of the shape, as we can see here, all we have to do is select the polygon selection tool. And as far as I can tell, this has to be at an editable object. If it's not editable, then I don't believe it will work. But uh, all we have to do is select one of these sides, drag our object on top of that, and now it's only applied onto that side. So we can just select the top, drag our yellow, select the right side, drag our magenta, and we can do it for any of the sides here. So I can just set yellow on the bottom or something like that. And you can see that on the right side, what it's actually doing is it's creating these selection tags, which are the orange triangles. So basically it's saving whichever size or whichever selection should have this material. This is saving whatever uh, material, whatever should have this material. This is saving whatever should have this material. And this is saving whatever should have this material. So uh, that's really all that it's doing for you. It's just creating these selection tags for you. You can put them on yourself, but uh, it just makes it much easier to just select one and drag it right on and have it do it for you. So now if we go ahead and render this out, you can see that we get exactly what is expected. We get three different sides with three different colors. I hope this has helped you and I hope you'll use it again in the future. Don't forget to subscribe for more Cinema 4D and Mac related videos.